Let's do it now. Smith, play play the clip because I, I got Laree here and I get real greedy when Laree is here because I need to know <laughs> everything that she thinks about everything that I want to talk about. Play the clip. I should have never played Nina. I should have never played Nina. Um, I should have done everything in my power with the leverage that I had 10 years ago, which was a different leverage, but it was leverage nonetheless. I should have tried everything in my power to cast a black woman to play an exceptionally perfect black woman. Yeah. At th- at that, it's you know, growing, it's painful. I thought back then that, I thought back then that I, I was, I, I, had, I had the permission because I was a black woman and I am, but I, but it was Nina Simone. And Nina had a life and she had a journey that should have been, and it should be honored to the most specific detail because she was a specifically detailed individual about her voice and her opinions and her views and her music and her art. And she was so honest. So she deserved better. (laughs) I'm glad you played that Um, because I too felt like Zoe Saldana should not have taken that role. And when she says that she should have used her leverage for a black woman to play Nina, I think what she meant was a dark-skinned black woman to play Nina. And, you know, the idea that we are all black, yes. Not a quibble in my in my bow about that at all. But I'm a light-skinned black woman. And my privilege as a light-skinned black woman, I think, should be weaponized such that I'm using it for the betterment of black people. When it comes to playing a character like Nina Simone, who part of who she was was in relation to the fact that she was a dark-skinned, phenotypically dark-skinned black woman. And that has a particular uh, impact in development, in the art. And it's not to say that you're less black if you don't have those experiences, but it is to say that because of that and because of the way this society has structured not just racism, but colorism and proximity to whiteness, that role should have gone to a dark-skinned black woman um, who would not have required... uh, Skin darkening cream. Um, so I was, I was grateful that Zoe Saldana did that. At the program that I was just mentioning that we did in East New York, it was on identity for young black girls. And we're having these conversations about racial identity and who we are and, and you know, the, the color complex. And at one point, like three weeks into this particular semester, I looked around, I was like, wait a minute. Every <coughs> single one of the staff that I have put in this school is a light-skinned black woman. We cannot have a healthy conversation about colorism, racial identity, when all of us look like a couple of shades darker than me. So we mix up our staff to intentionally ensure, and, you know, people can say what they want to say about that, but I need black girls to see a variety of blackness around them so that we are able to have a conversation where they see themselves reflected in the imagery of the leadership in that classroom. And so I think that we can... Um, take healthy stock of our position in society and we can act in ways that will allow us to ensure that we are not silencing the voices of those who are a part of our community but who need to be elevated in ways that they typically are not. So I was glad she apologized. She should not have played that role. Um, We're talking about, you know, roles where, where, where race and colorism play a particular role in the makeup of the person that you are you are impersonating I think that matters and I was glad she apologized it was you know I wouldn't have used quite the same words that she used in the apology but I was very glad that she apologized and it owned it and listen um growth is super important for those of you who want to hold people to a standard or hold people to things that they did in their past um folks should be able to apologize folks should be able to grow and recognize the error of their ways and I actually, you know, I love the apology, except at the end when she said I loved her music. But, you know, I don't want to split hairs. Listen, to come to the realization, because for me, Nina Simone is not a musician. She was an activist. For me, Nina mm. Simone was a freedom fighter. To me, Nina Simone uh, carried a burden into her life that n- many of us would not carry. To be mm. denied at every front. Yep. And to yep. not be able to live your full truth when you're so talented and so gifted and so brilliant. To never really, and, and that we know who she is tells you how brilliant she is. But, That's right. but how much more could she have done had she been able to be her full self? Zoe Saldana has privilege from, from, the, from the door, you yep. know, from the door. And part of acting is, you know, and I, Denzel said this, you know, you're not actually becoming somebody else. You're the version of yourself through that character. 
Mm. So if you're not bringing that depth, and I'm not saying people can't play, which tells me that Chadwick Boseman must have gone through some stuff in his life because he plays everybody. He could play everybody. From T'Challa <laughs> right. to James Brown to damn Thurgood Marshall. And that one I was like, really? We're going to have Chadwick Boseman play <laughs> Thurgood Marshall? Really? And then I watched it. I was like, damn it. He did it again. I believe him. I believe him. And you know, I don't think it necessarily works in the reverse. So I'm not bothered by a Chad with Bozen playing a very light skinned Thurgood Marshall. The, the same way that I have different opinions on interracial relationships, depending on which the role the black man is playing, which role the black woman is playing. I don't think everything is equal, has equal parts on either side of it. So I, I am not bothered in the same way by a darker skinned person acting as a lighter skinned person because they're, the same privilege power dynamic is not there. So for me, it is different for a light skinned person to assume the role of a darker skinned person in ways that, so yeah, I had issues with the way Saldana, I did not similarly have issues with Chadwick Boseman impersonating Thurgood Marshall, even though they also have uh, a different color uh, relationship. So, you know, it's, it, people are complicated. It's complicated. And, but, it's complicated. but it becomes less complicated when we, when we have the conversation. Most of life is gray and brown, yeah. not black and white. And the sooner we yeah. get to that conclusion, you're not always right. You're not always wrong. Uh, and, and somewhere in between, you know, truth is, is very mutable too, just like history. So yeah. we should uh, constantly be in search of that and have the question. 